What's up, guys? Uh, I've been spending a lot of time playing with the Pendo board, uh, learning how to use the extension uh, connector, all those functions, and basically I've learned how to use the uh, UART, especially the UART, uh, the fourth UART on this connector, which is pin number six uh, for the transmitter, anyways. But the only problem with uh, using this UART is this uh, voltage level is a lot lower than my computer's uh, COM port over here so this one is 1.8 volts so what we need is uh, we need a bi-directional translator and we have a simple circuit which I can show you over here it's just using an N MOSFET and a couple of uh, 5k uh, resistors and you need two uh, uh, voltage source one for the low one for the high and these are your uh, signal line that goes right here and for the high voltage signal line goes here and this is always going to be 3.3 volts to keep the gate open between these and I have worked it on a multi sim so make sure it worked but I'm not going to go into details of this basically I wrote the code, the python code that will run on my uh, Linux operating system on the Pendle board and I have written th this Linux, uh, the pet Python code, a long time ago, and I can still use it for serial communication. And I'm not going in detail, but here is the main part. Basically, I changed the port to dev slash tty03, which is the fourth uh, UART, which is really uh, took me a while to figure out that three means the fourth one because it started off with zero and set the bar right here which should be the same as the other COM port over here so I have checked it uh, with my putty for serial communication so here is the side with the uh, uh, Pendle board serial communication I'm, I'm going to say uh, send a message uh, hello windows over here and on the other side I should get a signal which is my this is my other COM port from Windows 7. See, this is the for this part. So I'm press enter over here. I actually got a message on the another side. And yes, I did get a message. So this is just a quick demonstration of what I uh, did today. But I'll show you guys in detail how to actually um, program all the drivers to access the IOs and whatnot. But this is not that hard. But the key thing is just to find the, uh, the the right information on the web which is scattered around. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.